Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Now, I know I'm a little behind on Sherry, but I've been trying to catch it and trying to, you know, put some something together for y'all. But I forgot on day three. When I finished the tape and I forgot I had even, I haven't even touched on the lady with the dolls. And that was a part of her day three show. And I was like, uh-uh, we got to go back. We got to go back. We got to go back because we got to uh, shine on this queen who called herself making dolls like us. You know, we come in different colors, well, not colors, but different shades of brown and the lighter, lighter brown. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. All right, uh, that was day three, and it was called Dog Give Kids a Chance to Play with a Purpose. So, it's not that long. It's not that long, y'all. Then I'm going to get to day four and five. Okay, well, we could talk about Winnie Harlow. That was uh, yesterday. What was it today? Which one was it? Which one was it? That was yesterday. And then we're going to be talking about uh, Chef Melba and Trent's. Trent's or whatever her name is. I think she was actually the one who um, sings her uh, premiere song or her song before she comes out. But And then it was with uh, Sergio uh, Hudson. He's a black designer of clothing. So we're going to get right on into it. But I would not, I couldn't sleep, okay? Because I wanted everybody to listen to this latest story on how she came about uh capitalizing on dolls like us for us you see what i'm saying but she named it something else okay but we're gonna get into it so y'all can understand what i'm talking about but this was a part of uh her show on day three which was wednesday okay oh, that's a commercial right there so let's Before you can say yes, you have to figure out how to make things happen. And I think about my dad who would like, I, I need to sharpen this pencil. I don't have a sh pencil sharpener. He's like, okay, well, do you have something sharp? You can sharpen this pencil. Ooh. Did you know that you could break a pencil open, grind up the lead, and turn it into graphite, and you can pa paint with it? There's so many things you can do when you start thinking about how to problem solve. Mm. So if you want to start a business, that's the mindset you have to have to get into it. All right. And be passionate about it. And be passionate about it. Um, Yalisa, they told me before we started, they said you had a surprise for me. I'm just like, oh, this is my, this feels so good. <laughs> well, in honor to celebrate your premiere week, we wanted to create a Sherry doll just for you. Sherry got her own doll, y'all. She got her own doll. She looks good. She looks just like you. She does. And I don't, I don't know how to tell you how much this is going to mean to little girls. I didn't have this. You know, I love these dolls. And guess what? Studio audience, I hope you do too because you're all going home with a Healthy Roots doll. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for being here. For more info on Healthy Roots dolls, go to SherryShowTV.com. Okay. Let's see if we can go back a little bit. Okay. Because that wasn't the full one. Here we go. Entrepreneurs who aren't afraid to make boss moves. Our next guest is the CEO and founder of Healthy Roots Dolls, a company that makes beautiful black dolls with natural hair that empower girls to love themselves. And I got to tell you, yes. Reactions to her dolls have even gone viral. Take a look. I cry every time I see girls fall in love with my doll. Oh, please welcome. 
welcome Yalitza John Charles. Yalitza. I just have to say, first of all, that just touched my heart so much, and thank you for what you were doing. But you have little girls all over the world, like, loving your dolls. When you see this, how does it make you feel? It's crazy because when I went to art school, I never set out with the intention of, oh, I'm going to design dolls that children fall in love with. Right. But because I pursued it and every opportunity that came my way to say yes and ultimately design the right product and learn from it, just from a class project where I redesigned Rapunzel and said, what if she had brown skin right. and can curly hair? Very much like the dolls that I never had. I'm not sure if you had dolls that looked mm -hmm. like you with the curly hair. But seeing that as an opportunity to create products that children ha can have now so that they can be as confident as I am as an adult. Well, I love this because I wish, I wish that I had dolls like this when I, were, when I was growing up. And all my dolls had the silky hair. It was nothing that looked like my hair. And I love that you're also teaching kids about their hair. So can you tell us about that? Absolutely. So the whole purpose is to teach girls how to actually style and love their natural hair. Because oh, I never had a doll with hair that you could actually wash and style that yes. had the kinky curly hair. And I also didn't learn how to do my hair until I was 22 years old. So why don't I know what my hair looks like as a natural grows out of my head right. so give them the opportunity to wash do box braids bonto knots we also have content that teaches kids how to do those styles as well Love. it's so funny i don't have a little girl but i feel like i'm rubbing my niece's hair <laughs> and even jeffrey's hair is this texture i oh i'm just, oh, I love it. so you are 28 years old yes. oh my goodness what at 28 years old and being very very, very successful. What advice can you give to people who want to start their own business? I, I say this a lot uh, because people will look at the success and go, oh my God, it, it happened overnight. Nothing about this is overnight. Right. It started in college. And because I kept seeking opportunities to say yes before I could say no, I signed up for programs. I did the research. I Googled, where do you get funding? Female founder funds, found funds for black founders. I went to pitch competitions. I would drive eight hours through the night. Mm. And a lot of the stuff about you know building your own company and being a founder is realizing when you start your own business, you have to be confident and comfortable with the risks and everything yes. coming back to you because if something goes wrong you got to figure it out oh and God. so my ultimate advice is don't say no don't say you, no don't say no before you can say yes you have to figure out how to make things happen and I think about my dad who would like I, I need to sharpen this pencil I don't have a pencil sharpener he's like okay well do you have something sharp you can sharpen this pencil. Ooh. Did you know that you could break a pencil open, grind up the lead, and turn it into graphite, and you can paint with it? There's so many things you can do when you start thinking about how to problem solve. Mm. So if you want to start a business, that's the mindset you have to have to get into it. All right. And be passionate about it. And be passionate about it. Um, Yalitza, they told me before we started, they said you had a surprise for me. I'm just like, oh, this, is my, this is so good. <laughs> well, in honor to celebrate your premiere week, we wanted to create a Sherry doll. She looks good. She looks just like you. She does. And I don't, I don't know how to tell you how much this is going to mean to little girls. I didn't have this. You know, I love these dolls. And guess what? Studio audience, I hope you do too because you're all going home with a Healthy Roots doll. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for being here. For more info on Healthy Roots dolls, go to SherryShowTV.com. Okay, guys. And that was the ending that I forgot to give you all on day three but as I promised I was gonna come and share um, the video and put my two cents in on it it was a great show I loved it uh, I'm really loving Sherry I'm, I'm not really digging her setup still uh, I think they could have did so much better than what they did do but that's on the bridge under the west. That's water under the bridge, as they say. And we keep moving and forging ahead. So glad y'all liked it. Make sure y'all like and comment and definitely subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back with more Sherry. See you later. Bye bye.